Ladies and gentlemen, this is a massive unboxing. Listen to this. Let's get into it. International Stacker. All right, guys, I don't even know how much I paid for this. There's multiple orders with uh, one seller, and it's a private buy. And this gentleman I bought off a few different times. Ooh, let's make sure there's not. Uh, let me, uh, okay, it's a bag within a bag, so I'm going to take it out and flip it because there's an address on one side. And I don't want to dox that individual. It was sent to my P.O. box, but I don't want to dox that individual. But anyways, it's a gentleman I bought from multiple times. Gave me some really great deals. Maybe some of you guys are lucky. I'll hook you up with them. I don't know. Um, but I'll put the price up here how much I paid for all this, but it's epic, guys. I got a lot. COAs, what does that mean? I got a lot of stuff. It looks like you quadrupled did this. Oh, oh yeah. This is going to be epic. Uh, you got to be really careful when you're buying on Facebook. Oh, yeah, and I lost my unboxing knife a freaking again, guys. I don't know what the heck I did with it. But you got to be really careful when buying on Facebook. You can get amazing deals. <laughs> what is this? It just keeps going down to smaller and smaller bags. You can get amazing deals. And you can also get really amazing scams. Uh, a lot of people have gotten scammed on there. I never have, knock on wood, because I'm meticulous. First off, if it, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Secondly, there's the Numistatus Blacklist on uh, Facebook. So if you're buying on Facebook, join that group. And they have people who are known scammers. Third, I only buy from established people. And you could literally say, hey, do you have references? And then they'll tag people to give them references. Now I've done that before with the new seller because it was a good deal. And all the people giving them references were like brand new people to the group, haven't sold anything. So keep in mind, check the references, make sure they're reputable. It could be somebody who made them just to do a scam. I mean, why not make a bunch of Facebook accounts and try to scam if you can make a thousand dollars or a few hundred dollars. So again, you do your due diligence, you're fine. If you don't, if it's too good to be true, it definitely is. All right, so the first satchel here. Got ourselves a bunch of Kennedys. What are these? 90 percenters, it looks like. So, wow. Let's get them here. And you guys, when you coin roll hunt, that's what you want to see from the side. And always check, always check the sound check like that. Because when I was coin roll hunting, guys, I did miss a few that looked didn't look silver it is easy to miss so there you go these all look like 64 60 okay okay so we got a mix there's 40 percenter i'm gonna get into the rest guys let's just go through this real quick 90 percenter 90 90 uh 40 some 40 some 90s whoops nineties and I think I probably got these close to spot spot was probably around 26 bucks or 27 bucks when I got these I had taken a break for months guys I just recently started to buy again I've taken a break for months trying to wait for the stabilize I'm still waiting for I mean a few pullbacks did happen I did kind of predict it but not to the extent I wanted so I still kind of like holding out hope I still am holding out hope. If we get a significant dip, I'm just gonna load the boat. But right now I've been buying a different kind of metal, not silver and gold. Can anyone guess in the comments below what specifically I'm referencing? Okay, so we got a stack of 40s, a stack of 90s. I mean, that looks like probably close to $20 face. Let's come to this big satchel next. Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta be careful here. epic could even could even be made there could be some mega stuff in here guys for all of you who don't know i do something called the mega ga g-a-w stands for giveaway um and i do give things away from time to time that shouldn't be the reason you watch my channel you should watch it to have fun but for those who do have fun i do reward last time i gave away over 70 ounces of silver so make sure you smash the like subscribe and hit the notifications because even if you are subscribed to notifications on 
half time so half the time YouTube doesn't even alert. And recently they've been deleting followers of mine. And I looked it up, YouTube will do that to like test the virality of people. So if you find yourself unsubbed, please resub. All right, getting to the first group of coins here. Oh, it's gonna be epic, I can tell already. Here we go. It more is really silver. So this is 1974. Wow, looks like 10 shekels. 10 shecks, 90% silver. Super cool. More is really silver. 90%. If you guys remember, I unboxed some is really silver maybe uh, two months ago, three months ago. 90%. Oh, 10 lira. I said shecks. I think shekels are new. Look, that was going for 35. I didn't pay 35. Woo! You guys, is that the beer flu? Oh my gosh, it's a prediction of the crop. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Super cool. These all appear to be... Oh, is this the case for this? I'm not sure what happened there. Not sure what happened there. Oh, you know what? I think I remember... I think another coin I bought from him, he's like, hey, I have the case if you want it. I think that's what that was. Okay. What do you guys think so far? We're not even anywhere close to being done. And I have not even unboxed the most epic things. Oh, man. Tell me in the comments below, guys. Are you amped? Are you pumped? Have you made it this far? Oh, this is going to be epic. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I already know what this is. This is probably Cuban silver. Republica de Cuba. Super sick. 1915, look at the shape. This guy takes care of me. Uh, un peso 26, 1926. And you guys, the old Mexican silver I love, because look, 72%, it literally tells you how many percent it is. So a couple un pesos, un pesos. Martin Pesos. Oh wow, Independence. Oh wow, Philippine like dollar equivalent, one peso. Wow. This is freaking awesome. That's the only the second one dollar I have that big one peso from Philippines. Oh, a Boulevard. Venezuela, 1936, when their money was still silver. Oh, polar bear. I got a good deal on this because it's kind of like scratched up. That's super cool. Cien pesos. Cien, is that 20? I think Cien is 20, if I remember from Spanish class. Wow, okay. Super cool. I'm trying to fly through this, guys. I'm trying to fly through it. How would you smuggle this across the border? If it was illegal, how would you get it across? Don't tell me. I don't want my comment section to be banned. By the way, YouTube will totally censor comment sections now. It's crazy. All right. Let's see here. Okay. 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 You guys, I've got some amazing videos coming for you all in the very near future. I think you're going to love them. Okay. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna do this. Forget it. Got a bunch of quarters. Looks like they're all Washington quarters. Obviously, they're all gonna be 90%. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably a $10 face. Hopefully, there's not paper in here that's critical. Do not cut this paper. Ah. Okay. Ooh, this looks epic. I was tempted just to cut it across. Oh, Alright, 
I'm doing it. I'm cutting across. Cutting across. What's your guys' favorite videos? Like all, if you go to all my early videos, it was mostly unboxing because that's what I thought everyone liked. And then I started doing a lot of my traveling videos and those took off going into LCSs. I'm like, okay, people want to see more than just unboxings. But my roots was purely unboxing videos. That's it. And boy, do I have some epic, I mean, this is an epic unboxing, but I mean, guys, I have some really epic ones. Oh, Mexican silver, so 50 centavos, 1937. 50 centavos, 50 centavos, 50, 50. Let's see here, 50 centavos. Who wants one? Who wants one of these? Tell me right now, 50 centavos. Uh, probably another un peso, yeah. You guys, so cool. We're not even close to being done. Okay, what's in here? Stuff like this is what I usually give away in the Mega. I like to give away like sets and stuff. Mega, 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 Mega. Oh, it's a Canadian mint set. Cool. Silver, silver, silver. Silver. Not silver, not silver. Okay, cool. What do you guys think? Are you pumped? Is this a good unboxing? This might be one of my better silver unboxings in a while. Alright, let's get in here. Okay, oh, another Canadian set. Did I face reveal just now? Okay, canoe, cool. Um, it wasn't that long ago, guys, that I could buy as many of these goose dollars as I wanted for $10 a pop. I'm not sure what they are now, but way more than 10, I'm sure. So three Canadian mint sets, and what do we got in here? What do we have in here? Oh, these are COAs for different things. Most of them look like the Israeli silver, so that's cool. Got a bunch of COAs for those. And um, let's check the quarters real quick. So what do you guys like best? I think I kind of killed the foreign silver market, guys, because I found that as a niche, any LCS I could go to, I could get as much foreign silver as I wanted at spot. So I just started mining it everywhere I went. And then I told a lot of you, and I know a lot of you did. Did I, did I ruin the best hidden secret of silver stacking? <laughs> the foreign silver at spot market? Oh, yeah. All oh, those are silver. Ooh, and some nice ones, too. Look at that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm stacking the silver to the sky. I just got some gold. I think I might get some more gold. I don't know, guys. I'm running out of space. Am I back at 6,000 ounces? I got to check. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Smash, comment, subscribe, share, and let's stack this silver to the sky. Catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker.